この作戦で大勢の機械たちが救われるんだよ。This is this is this is becoming too nice right now. I hate this music. It's bothering me because I know something bad is looming, man. I can already feel it. What's up, guys? It's Salaviathan, and we are back with another reaction today. Today, we are continuing Eden Zero. We are on episode 16. Episode 15, kind of, I don't know. I would rate it maybe like a 6 out of 10 of excitement. There was, um, we finally got an answer to that Homura situation. Turns out it was an imposter the whole time who was a part of the Galactic Intelligence Agency or something like that. I don't know, some, some kind of weird intelligence galactic name, but whatever. Turns out she's a spy. And、um, basically, she, was,、uh, she can morph herself and change her appearance. Uh, personality and also gain the memories of the person that she changes into. So she actually kind of like can become the person, and that's messed up <laughs> in, in all retrospect. But um yeah, it was pretty cool seeing that. We got to see some more of Jamalov. He was kind of just hacking the game. You know, like we found out who he really was, a nerdy ass guy. But apparently, he he was um very famous for a person who was、uh, getting a shit ton of money. For hacking or whatnot, so he, he, he got his respect where it's due. Maybe it's not in fighting, but it is in, I guess, other areas. Anyway, we got to see more of Hermit. Hermit kind of still hearing Shiki saying,、uh, robots have hearts or machines have hearts too, or some crap like that. And we got to see a little bit of Hermit's past where she really genuinely wanted to help humans back in the day. But、um, it turned out that things kind of Change so something happened to Hermit that made her distrust humans, and she's still distrust, distrusting humans, so things are a little bit messed up. And now we're having Jamlov who's hacking the Eden Zero, so I don't know what's gonna happen there. Maybe he's gonna send them to Jack and Joe, who knows? Real talks though, I don't know what Jack and Joe sees in Jamlov, but I don't even know if that's really his name. It's still a cool name, but I don't think it works well for the character <laughs> who actually is Jamala. Maybe the, maybe the、uh, what's it called, Digitalis Jamala, but not the one that we saw here. But anyway, we're gonna get started with this reaction. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Turn on notifications down below so you know when I upload next. And make sure you check out the Patreon in the description down below for uncut reactions of this show and many, many more stuff. Check it out. But without further ado, though, we're gonna get started with Eden Zero. Episode 16. Blank there for a second. Episode 16. Let's go. Why the heck do you need like five people to go talk to Hermit, by the way? Like, I don't, I think, I think Shiki's enough to have a conversation with her. What happened to her, man? Because it seems like she's just giving up on everything. Don't tell me these people used her and made her into a weapon to kill. Oh no, okay, I guess we're getting Hermit backstory. Which is, which is very needed. Because I need to know what happened to her. Because it, it sounds like the story is a lot more effed up. これがエーテル家族記試作6号。まるで放題ですね。これが完成すれば、惑星復古の機械たちが救えるのだが。惑星復古というのは?この星の隣にある機械たちの星じゃ。人間から見捨てられたり。I wanna believe this guy is a good guy, but 
to for Hermit to drop down to the despair that she's in, somebody that she must have trusted really probably betrayed her. ハミト。Man, why are you gonna do this to me, Eden Zero? I just feel like something bad is gonna happen, or something sad is gonna happen here. Are humans just like not allowed to go to Planet Hook, but like... Is it like a taboo or something? Like, or is it an actual like law? This is this is this is becoming too nice right now. I hate this music. It's bothering me because I know something bad is looming, man. I can already feel it. System. I swear Dr. Muller, I don't know, there's just something about this guy I feel that is evil. He's too nice right now, man. That's a lot. What are they trying to do? Are they trying to power up the uh, bots to kind of like um, fix themselves and come back to life or something? Unless this guy's trying to destroy all the bots or something. These freaking bastards! I knew this is what they were doing! They were sending their own bots there to destroy them easily- Oh my god. I knew it! I freaking knew it! <laughs> Bro, man, this guy looks so evil right now. It's crazy, man. Oh my god. Dude, Eden Zero is something different. I like it a lot. I like how dark he can get. Jeez, man. He's evil! He's nothing but pure evil! Jesus Christ, Lord of mercy on my soul, please save me! Oh my god, what are they doing to her? Oh no. Oh no, man. This is crazy, man. This is honestly crazy. I can't take this piece of crap. I really hope that Hermit, like, murdered all of them. I really hope she did. Mira Hakase. 
っと自由になれたんだ死に場所くらい選ばせてやれだから人間のいないデジタリスに行ったのにまた危ない人間と関わるなんて人間は助けたくないウイライたちアンドロイドだよそれにウィッチさんやシスターさんは仲間ですよね人間の味方をするアンドロイドもみんな嫌い Look at her crying right now, man. She's having such a hard time with all of this right now. <sighs> It's crazy. I hope she talks to them and tells them about it sometime, you know? So they can kind of share in her pain. Cheeky kind of just got a chance to leave the planet, but I think that might help her relate with him a little bit, you know? Just a little bit. Because Lord knows she needs something to hold on to, you know? Straight up, man. If you really wanted people to leave you alone, why is it that you're crying and you're looking up? This is so emotional right now. I like it. Dude, Shiki knows how to give those emotional speeches, man. Those motivational speeches. He's like, yo, you don't trust humans? That's fine. Just trust yourself. Trust your own judgment. You know what I mean? You, you've been in pain, but you can, you gotta trust yourself that you can choose the right people to be with, you know? <laughs> Yo, they found Jamalov, bro. Look at the top of his. <laughs> this guy's such a damn freaking weeb, yo. <laughs> ah, yo, they trolled him heavy, man. <laughs> I, I figured, I figured, like, they wouldn't actually kill this guy if <laughs> they made this guy wet his pants. <laughs> That was great seeing, man. Great episode, great episode, honestly. So, that was Eden Zero, episode 16. Man. I knew Hermit was betrayed by humans, and she was, she was messed up by humans, but I didn't know it was that dark and that deep-rooted, and, and, and it was going on for that long. You know what I mean? I figured that humans kind of used her and betrayed her in some way. Because that seems like the normal, I guess, trope of distrusting humans. Especially when you saw past her and she's like, I just want to make friends with humans. So it was really hard to see that how she trusted these people who claimed to try to wanting to save bots. But it seems their their whole motive seems so effing stupid. Like, they... they are using bots bots have souls in this in this world at the very least they're humans they think they, they they have personalities they think you know they have their own feelings and emotions so wouldn't it make sense to work with bots rather than go against them this guy seems like he has his own little racism against a race that was manufactured <laughs> it's so stupid <laughs> but Anyway, we saw what he did with her, and this guy was basically using her up to nothing, and she just, she just couldn't move on after that. And it was crazy to see how much she was struggling with it, and I thought that it was going to take a lot more to open her up, right? But I feel like she closed herself off permanently because she wanted to not get hurt again. I think that's what she did. I think she still wants to trust humans. She believes that those humans were probably bad, but her her past experiences may have kind of perpetuated her her own her own like um, decisions on not 
engaging at all with it but they the whole crew saw through that which i liked i liked that moment that was a really good inspirational moment especially from rebecca and shiki that was really good because we got to have her relate with shiki and then also shiki saying you know what you don't trust humans that's fine you know what you have that right not to touch them humans trust them you humans have betrayed you but trust yourself trust in your own judgment Le choose who you want to trust and and who you want to trust in and believe that that's the right choice and i like that that was a really really like goaded type of line right there because like most animes you get a lot of inspirational speeches where they're like believe in yourself stuff like that but i like that because he's like trust in your choices because essentially what he's saying is you know like you've made mistakes before but trust yourself, right? You'll learn from those mistakes and move forward. And that was really good. That's what I, how I interpreted it, even though that's not specifically what he said, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> um, anyway, um, I think that was it. We got to see some of Jamalav just getting royally fucked, basically. So that was funny to see. It was great. Um, I hope we don't see him again, but I feel like he's gonna go run to Drac and Joe and now the Eration 6 is gonna probably play a role now within the next half of the rest of the episodes. Because I think we have 16, 24, so about like 12 more episodes. No, not 12. 8 more episodes left. I had it like 4. 8 more episodes left until the season's done. So, yeah, it's gonna be a nice ride. We're gonna, I'm gonna try to push through those 8 episodes quickly. But I think that's it for the video. Um, I will see you guys around. I really want to thank you guys again for all the support you've been giving me on YouTube and Patreon and everything else. It's been awesome. It's been motivating me to keep doing this. <laughs> and it's been it's been great. Um, but, and remember, if you can smell yourself, others can smell you too. See you later, guys. Bye.